So it's really hard these days to talk about um, whatever pure libertarianism is and whatever pure socialism is and pure communism, pure market capitalism, you know, those are all economic theories, but if you want to look at the actual state of affairs as it exists right now, I think what you described, basically private bankers owning the the money, therefore controlling the rate of inflation and they're for also um, being able to make themselves very wealthy just based on uh, market speculation because they know what's they control the marketplace so you know before we invaded Iraq um, Iraq just switched to uh, the euro, I think, for its oil payments instead of the U.S. dollar, and uh, that's pretty much when we went to war with them. Iran just requested that Japan start paying for its oil in yen. They pay in the U.S. dollar now too. So basically, our government now is is what you described. So we're not a socialist country right now. We're not a libertarian country either. We are a monarchy in a sense. Um, so I think, you know, in, a, in a, a real world example again, Ron Paul ran as a libertarian candidate in 1988, but he's really a constitutionalist, which just, I mean, the Constitution is a form of socialism. It's a set of standards, human rights standards, and uh, the rules of, of society at the federal level, which is, is sort of the, it's the religion of a, of a society. It's the Ten Commandments. That aspect of, of a country, of our country, is socialist, but we don't really pay attention to most of those those amendments anymore. So the we the people notion is just not here anymore. But if we return to the actual meaning of the Constitution, that would be true again. There, there might actually be some need for amendments to the Constitution for maybe runoff voting in our elections so that we can get more third party candidates involved. Um, but I think we. I would agree with you. I'm not the kind of libertarian that you were describing. I just think that the government should be out of business, and business should be out of government. Um, so that makes me a socialist then, because government would be by the people. So I think um, we're in agreement. It's just that uh, I was using. I guess some people use the words differently. Libertarianism, you know, all the political words, they, people assign emotional labels to them. In other words, they react to political words emotionally, just like most people react to religious words emotionally. They have an immediate um, uh, gut instinct when they when they receive one of these words, and they. They don't consider it openly at all. They don't play along with that language game. Uh, but I think we're trying to convey the same meaning with a different game, maybe. But I think we're in agreement. I'm a socialist, yeah. A constitutionalist. Yeah.